Good afternoon, how are y'all doing? What is this? Apparently, Francis Ford Coppola, the Godfather, has a new movie coming out. It said, first look at Megalopolis. He does. One of the year's most mysterious films finally had the first. I didn't, how did I not know this? How did I not know this was happening? On Tuesday, Francis Ford Coppola took to Instagram to reveal a title card for Megalopolis, his new epic film that is expected to arrive in theaters at some point in 2024. While the title card, as well as the leaning statue in City Street that appeared to be behind it do not provide a lot of teases of Megalopolis' plot, I don't need, I don't need information, I'm sad. They still begin to, they still begin to establishing the world of Coppola's ambitious new project. They wrote that like that, not me. Somewhat of a passion project for Coppola, who has been financing almost all of the film's $100 million budget himself. The film has previously made headlines for reports that the film's budget has ballooned significantly and entire departments on the film's crew, crew have either fired or resigned. At this, who wrote this? Have either been fired or resigned. The, Reported budget exceeds $120 million. Honestly, that's not even a whole lot right now. The, the, the amount of money that studios are spending on films, that's, you know, and that came out of his pocket though. I mean, my goodness. The plot of Megalopolis largely remains under wraps, so that the film is reportedly set in an alternate reality version of New York City dubbed New Rome. Interesting. Stars. Adam Driver, Forrest Whitaker, Natalie Emanuel. I'm still mad at her for the ending she did not give me in the invitation, but you know, that's 2022 business. John Voight, Lawrence Fishburne, Aubrey Plaza, Shia LaBeouf, Chloe Fineman, Catherine Hunter, Giancarlo Esposito, Dustin, Dustin Hoffman, D.B. Sweeney, Talia Shire, Jason Schwartzman, Bailey Ives, Grace Vanderwall and James Ramar. Remar. What? What? So sweet. Spike Lee got to screen. He screened it for Spike Lee personally the first 30 minutes. Flew down from New York to Atlanta to screen it for him. That's precious. That's really sweet. So this is his first film in 13 years. His last film, um, 2011, Twixt. Didn't get to see that one, wanted to see it because Elle Fanning's in it. Was largely disliked by the critics. It seems in his more recent movies, critics are um, pointing out a difference between what seems to be a style difference between the younger Coppola and an older Coppola. Understandably so, because time changes things. But it, it'll be interesting to see what happens with this. I had no idea that he was making a movie that we were gonna get a Coppola treat in 2024. I was just thinking about movies coming out this year and just very disappointed. We have a lot of remakes, a lot of sequels. It seems to be a year of unoriginal this year and I'm not really looking all that forward to it if I'm being honest, but this gets me a little excited. I'm very curious. It's a nice cast. It'll be nice to see Shia LaBeouf on the big screen again in a big movie. Um, he hasn't really been in big movies lately. He's he's slowly but surely putting himself back out there. This is definitely his biggest project in a very long time. I'm very excited to see him on screen. Um, Adam Driver, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Dustin Hoffman, it's just an interesting mix of cast. Lawrence Fishburne, John Voight, Natalie Emanuel. So you have a nice little mix of veterans and these newbies, people who are kind of coming onto the scene, making a name for themselves. It'll, it's very interesting, very interesting. Um, I can't believe I didn't know, but hey, what a treat. We're getting a Francis Ford Coppola movie this year. Let me know what you think. How do you feel?